paleontologists have made some new estimates of the real size of the megalodon. Do you know what that is? Oh, is that the one that everyone loves? The underwater huge thing? Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's an extinct shark. Yeah, that's that what people, I meant. <laughs> it has become an obsession because it, you know, it's allegedly the largest shark that's ever existed. And there's movies and TV series and stuff all about it as like a prehistoric shark. The problem has always been that they've only had tooth fossils to extrapolate from. So it's obviously mm. hard to understand what it actually looked like, how big it was. Le like they always say like they for a long time tried to figure out its diet and that's hard enough, let alone figuring out what a tooth means for the rest of a body. You know what I mean? Yeah. So these would have lived around 23 to 3 million years ago no longer exist although there are like these conspiracies that like in mariana's trench there's still a megalodon I love that. of course there is <laughs> and basically but they found the teeth fossils um in like ancient whale fossils and stuff like that so wait what sorry they have found these teeth in whales that are no longer alive like as fossils oh, you know see. what okay. i mean so they have found versions of these teeth they know these creatures existed yes. and now they've started using math mathematical models to help predict and understand what their size actually was based on their teeth. Okay. Basically, they started looking into modern sharks and they're not directly related, but they do share ancestors. Okay, so yeah. like, it's not like the Megalodon is a direct ancestor yeah. of the great white shark, but they know they're similar. And basically they started looking at the psychological, not physiological characteristics, Imagine the psychological, psychological. <laughs> um, uh, uh, sexual turning on of sharks. Uh, basically they realized this group of modern sharks that are most closely related all follow similar and simple growth patterns. So I didn't know this about sharks, but I guess when they're born or when they're young, they're basically like adult proportion, just small. So you know how humans, oh, wow. humans, I, I think at a certain point probably become that as well, but some animals vary so drastically over the course of their life. So it would be hard to predict what a baby will look like when it's an adult. But for sharks, they realized, oh, okay, like when it's a little baby, it's just going to get physically shark bigger. Dee 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 dee. Okay. <laughs> After doing all their computations and figuring this out, they realized the Megalodon would have been 16 meters or 52 feet wide. Okay. Which is huge. And so it's twice the size of great white sharks. But perhaps not as large as, as what people, people would have yeah. thought. Because the imagery of it. That is not is, the diagrams I've but seen. But it's huge. So the dorsal yeah. fin itself is the size of a human, basically. Oh, God. Which oh would, God. like, if you think of that, yeah, and that's not the main body. So so it's 5'3". Five, five, so it's a smaller human. Not no, shading <laughs> one five three, But um, that's just like the fin on its back being the size of a human. So it is still massive. But sometimes when I see images of it it looks oh, like it's like the size of a those youtube field. oh the megalodon shark like the forgotten shark it's like when you see the image like that looks like a football field it's yeah. huge yeah like did that actually exist and i just um, need to shout so out no. to my queens and my kings the blue whale uh, <laughs> which are, are actually that large whales are my favorite animal they are the largest animal to have ever existed so i think another thing know what i'm happy to be alive during the WAP coming out and the blue whale existing so for sure they're the largest to ever have existed exactly because yeah. sometimes i tell Bigger myself that like Brontosaurus would be bigger, but no. then I realized maybe I am really over exaggerating in my no. mind how big a brontosaurus was. No. One time we were uh, while we were camping, we were looking at these giant trees, and we were like, if a T Rex came through those giant trees, how big relative to those trees would it be? And we had very different ideas. Remember? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I realized I think I thought they were way bigger than they actually are. I was like, they'd be coming through and knocking the whole trees down. You're like, no, they'd be like half the size. Well, they it's Jurassic Park. And I was Park. like, you're right. Maybe it's, I just thought they were so big. Yeah. Well, Jurassic Park was accurate, like from what I understand. And that's, but that's like, still so big. I it's picture, still big. But when you, but those you re-watch it, you're really like, big. oh, it's like, you know, those are, those are really beautiful, tall trees. 